All right, everyone. I'm Franco Terrazano. I'm the federal director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, and you're listening to, of course, the Canadian Taxpayers Podcast. And I'm joined by my friend and colleague, Renaud Brassard. He is our Quebec and Atlantic director. Renaud, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing pretty good. You? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Now let's jump into something that's really been boiling <laughs> my blood, right? All these pay raises going out to all these politicians and all these bureaucrats. Man, we have been hammering the federal government about this, but our report also talks about the provincial governments as well. So why don't you tell us what's going on in the provinces? Well, you know, you and I are doing all right, but those who are really doing all, all right, they're the bureaucrats working in provincial governments. Because we're seeing exactly the same thing with them uh, as what you and Simmer just talked about uh, for the federal government. Uh, in that report, we saw that there's 212,000 government employees uh, across all provincial governments that got uh, some raises last year. This goes from about 3,700 in small places like PEI to 65,000 in Ontario. And, you know, let's just remember what was happening in the private sector while all this was happening. Uh, I don't know about you, but I still remember those headlines from back in March 2020, uh, when we saw that a million Canadians had lost their jobs. Like, that's a lot of people. Thankfully for you and I, we just saw those headlines, but the, there's this is a million real people that lost their jobs, had to go through hardship. Uh, and even now, while there's still some recovery, we're not fully recovered yet. Uh, when we look at it, there's 80,000 less jobs in the private sector and self-employed people. This, this is, once again, 80,000 people that have lost their jobs since the pandemic started and haven't been able to get back to their work either as uh, self-employed entrepreneurs or as, uh, as salaried employees in the private sector. Uh, so the private sector is not back to normal. Uh, but for governments, even at the height of the pandemic, things was just business as usual. They kept handing out raises as if nothing had happened. Yeah, and that's why we've been talking about this tale of two pandemics, right? The full of private sector pain, so many people losing their jobs, taking pay cuts, maybe even losing their small business. But then when you look at government, you have bureaucrats and politicians that are actually getting financial gain out of this, right? Pay raises. Um, yep. And just for anyone who hadn't heard the last conversation with me and Simmer, there was 312,000 federal government employees um, that got a pay raise during the pandemic, more than 200,000 provincial government employees as well. Now, Renaud, you know, I have to play devil's advocate. We got our <laughs> boss making me play a little bit of devil's advocate, pushing back on you. So you got over 200,000 provincial employees that got a pay raise. Raise. Well, we know I'm in Ontario. There's more than a million people here in Ontario. Um, so maybe the number of government employees getting a raise isn't that much. What do you say to that? Well, it's, it's actually a lot more than that. So the what we got back was what they call core government employees. So that's people working directly in government departments. That does not include the school boards. That does not include all the agencies like the Quebec Revenue Agency here. All those people are counted separately. Uh, so I know in my own province of Quebec, uh, just to give that in, that example, uh, there were about 45,000 employees that got raises. Uh, core government employees are about 60,000 in Quebec. So it's still a majority of them that got raises. A lot of them uh, are also part-time and stuff like that. So when we look at a problem, it's actually much, much bigger than this. Quebec actually gave us one of the best glimpses into just how costly this is. Um, because while they did not provide us with a total number of people on the government payroll that got raises. They did provide us with the cost of all those raises for all the people on the government payroll. And that's 3.1 billion since the pandemic started. This is a lot of money. Uh, and just to put in perspective, 3.1 billion, Quebec's whole budget for paying employees is 53 billion this year. Uh, so that's about 6%. And this is just the raises they got. The raises. It wow. is extremely expensive. Wow. So let me just, let's just repeat that one more time, because I think that's, it's so crucial. So, so the 212,000, when we're talking about, that's the number of provincial government employees that received a raise. That's not, that's not including every single provincial government yeah. employee, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. another thing I want us to nail down, you said Quebec government employee pay raises <laughs> was three billion dollars. Now that's just the cost of pay raises. That's not yep. the total bureaucracy. 
No, exactly. The total bureaucracy, once again, it's 53 billion. The cost of the pay raises is 3 billion. Wow. And, you know, not everyone knows the Quebec budget by heart, but that 53 billion is 55% what we spend on programs. Like this is this is healthcare spending levels, basically. It's it's a lot of money that we spend paying people in government. And those raises, those 3 billion, it is a whole lot of money that taxpayers have to pay extra now, despite the fact that they're still hurting, despite the fact that not all of them have gotten their jobs back, despite the fact that some of them, uh, even those that manage to keep their business now have a significantly higher debt load, it is still extra money we have to pay them. Yeah, I'm going to ask you just one more question, but I do want to just reiterate what you just said. It's very important. Remember, all these pay raises, folks, they're, they're going to have to be paid back. Right. It's, mm -hmm. and, and we have to remember that, especially when you're talking about provincial governments, uh, labor costs, the bureaucracy tends to be the largest cost driver. So if if politicians if bureaucrats, if they're not willing to share in the tough times, then guess who's going to have to pay for all this. Right. And that's why we have been saying it's so important that our politicians and bureaucrats be willing to share in the tough times, because it's not fair to make those workers who lost their job or those small businesses who had to close down to pay for all these pay raises. Okay, Renault though, last question. Do we see any cuts anywhere? Do we see any cuts? Uh, no, unfortunately we did not. Uh, the closest thing we saw was Manitoba uh, that told its government employees it, had, it would have to take five days of vacation. Uh, you know, they, while a lot of people were losing their jobs, weren't sure exactly where their, uh, th their next meal would come from, or, you know, had to take a little bit more debt on their credit cards. Uh, some government employees got to uh, stay home for five extra days. Uh, and that's really the only place where we saw uh, some movement. Everywhere else, uh, there were no cuts. There was no difference. Uh, and even historically, I mean, uh, you know, there's that report from Second Street that's, uh, that's absolutely phenomenal. It looked at historically, like when there were cuts uh, for a lot of provinces, that, that is decades ago, the last time they had any cuts. And in some cases, like even, even the federal government, they didn't have a single record showing that they ever cut government, empl uh, government employee pay. So once again, it's you have people in the private sector that are losing their jobs, that are losing their income, people, business owners that are seeing their revenues drop significantly and their expenses go up. And then you have gov people in government that, uh, you know, at worst, had to take a couple of days off, stay at home with the kids. It's 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 crazy. It's absolutely mind boggling. Hundreds of thousands of government employees that received a raise, not a single federal provincial government bureaucrat uh, taking a cut while the private sector was just absolutely decimated. So this is what we're saying, right? Clear divide during the pandemic. Those that have been shielded from financial reality, those that are behind the golden government gates and the private sector that has been decimated and will be forced to pick up the growing tab. Well, Renaud, thanks for coming on and talking about the provincial side of this pandemic pay raise report. I'm sure we'll get you on again soon. And for all of our, uh, and for all of our listeners and supporters, uh, this is more than just talking about the information. We have to take action. Pick up the phone, contact your MP, MLA, email your MP or MLA, and tell them your story. And tell them that it's not fair for you to face a higher tax bill because government bureaucrats and politicians aren't willing to share in the tough times. Hi, I'm Scott Hennig, President of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. If you've got another minute, I'd like to ask you to think about the one person you know that would really enjoy listening to this podcast. Do us a favor and do them a favor and send them a quick note to let them know about it. At the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, we believe there is power in numbers. That's why we've worked so hard to build an army of taxpayers who are ready to push back. And we did it because people like you shared our work with that one person that they knew would really appreciate taking part. Thanks for listening. And thanks for doing your part to make Canada a better place.